Hey guys, what's good? I'm back with the Generation Hope video for you guys tonight. This one I think just came out like yesterday or something. Or no, today. Well, technically today. It just, uh, it's October 19 now, it's past 12, so. It came out today, but it came out yesterday, technically. Racist teacher accuses black student of doing drugs. Of course. Because only black people do drugs. Only black people. No one else. No one else. Everyone knows that. Um, yeah, so honestly, again, people judging for no reason, like, I just don't understand, like, that's just, it's not right, it's not cool, I don't get why people do that. Like, again, just because you're black, it doesn't mean anything. Sorry, guys, one second, let me... Start. So once again, racist teacher accuses this poor black student of doing drugs. What happens is shocking, or he has to regrets it, whatever the title is. But yeah, again, just because you're black doesn't mean you're a drug dealer. Just because you're white doesn't mean anything. Just like, it doesn't matter what color you are. You can literally do anything, good or bad, whatever color you are. And just because you're black doesn't mean you're more susceptible or more likely to be bad. Like, it, that's not how it works. Let's go. Then why? Why do you treat me so differently from all the other students? Because you are different. Now, stop making a scene and go to the principal's office right now. For no, what? Not so you tell me why I'm different. Look at you. Look at your skin. Could you possibly think that you're the same as Lexi? What about my skin? You know what I mean. It's no, darker. So please, so what? You're smarter than that, aren't you? Come on, Mr. Mason, just tell me. You don't want me to say it. Yes, I do. Just be straightforward. Robert, trust me. You don't want me to say it. What are you going to say? Mason, just say it. Tell me why you treat me differently than all the other students. Because you're black! Morning, sweetheart. Here's that book you wanted. Morning, Mom. Oh, thank you. What are you working on? I'll finish on my paper. It's due today. Due today, Robert? Shouldn't you be leaving soon? It's not like you'll be working on homework at the last minute. I know. I just want to make sure this paper is perfect. All your papers are perfect. That's what makes you a great student. And why are you going to get into a good college? Mr. Mixon gave me a C on my last paper, even though I worked really hard on it. I'm sure he just wants you to do better. I don't know about that. He treats all the other kids way better than he treats me. It's so unfair. Why would you think he does it? I don't know. It feels like he doesn't like it. Oh, sweetheart, Mr. Mason just sees the potential that you have. And he just wants you to do your best. That's why he's so hard on you. Yeah, that's why. You're probably right. Robert, I'm your mom. I'm always right. No, you're wrong this time. I'm going to be late. He's just you racist. That's all it is. Yes, I did. What about your cell phone? That's all that. All right, hon. Have a great day. Love you. Yeah, the mom is not gonna be happy when she hears about all that. I really hope the student was like recording all that. That that would have been great. Robert, Robert, you forgot your paper. All right, settle down, class. I have an announcement to make. You're late, Robert. I'm really sorry, Mr. Mason, but my bus is. I don't want to hear your excuses. But it wasn't my fault. Like, you're late. Like, oh, for fuck's sakes. I'm giving you detention. Detention? But it wasn't my fault. And I was only late for a second. Late is late. It's about time you start taking responsibility for your own actions. Stop being so lazy. I'm not lazy. I just... lazy? Stop talking back to me, you little punk. You can't say all that. For what? I should give you detention, bitch. You're the one freaking like, not cussing at me, but like using these words I shouldn't be u using to a student that's not doing anything to you. Stop talking back, bitch. I was late for a second and you're giving me detention and tell me to stop being lazy, bitch. It's fine. It's 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 still not fine if he because I'm saying if he does this to er like if he did this to everyone, which obviously he doesn't because no one else is black, I guess. But let's just say he did this to everyone. Like white people, Chinese people, I don't know, Hispanic people, what, like whatever kind. If he did this to everyone, okay, it's still stupid because you're like a second late. 
Now, at least you're doing it to everyone. You're not doing it based on race or stereotyping anybody. But because you're doing it only to him, a long bit trash. As I was ran. saying before, I was so rudely interrupted. I have an announcement to make. Are you, are you retiring? I was on the school campus last night. What class has three students? There's like two girls in the back and then just him, that's it? Three students? That, that, that's the whole class? We don't know who they belong to yet. But when we do, the person responsible will be in serious trouble. Why is he looking at the black guy like that? So what's his name? So you say. Mason? No, that's it. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Well, what's his name again? I'm so sorry I'm late. I slept through my alarm. That's okay, Lexi. Go ahead and take a seat. Okay. See? I was just going to say, if, if it's to everyone, sure. But if it's only to him, no. That, that, that's, not, that, that's not cool. Mr. Mason. Mr. Mason, she she's a bitch. She was better than I was. How come she doesn't get attention? So, you're questioning me, Robert? No, but Robert's his name. Unfair. It is unfair. Good student. So? I'm a good student, too. Stop your whining. That's, that's so stupid. Like. All right, class. Take out your workbooks and turn to page ten so we can get started. Like, and now he's gonna hate her, and now freaking uh, Robert's gonna hate her. I mean, I wouldn't hate her because it's not her fault, but now she's smirking at him, so I, I would probably hate her because she's smirking like, haha, bitch. Like, yeah. So Lexi just seems like a little bitch. Oh, what is this? Elementary school? There's like a school bus behind him. Why is the teacher there at lunch? Why is he grabbing him? I mean, why is the teacher at lunch there? I'm assuming that's lunch. Why the fuck is he at lunch? With them. I'm going to the library. I'm going to get some studying done before class starts again. Extra studying? You really expect me to believe that? It's the truth. I want to get a scholarship for college. Oh, so you're looking for a handout, huh? Get some of that free money so you don't have to do any work. Nope. Doing all this, what he's doing is work to get that scholarship. Like, is that is this not what he's doing? Extra work, trying to like he's working hard to get that scholarship. So he's not lazy. He's doing the work now, idiot. And, and what? Yeah, is this lunch or is this like a different class? Like, watch. If if anybody else tried to leave, he wouldn't give a fuck. But because it's him, God forbid. Sir, but it's just me, and my mom. If she can't afford to pay for college, not unless I get a scholarship. A father at home, huh? No, sir. I already know. I, I, I watched a Gen Hope video yesterday. I, I already know he's going to say, oh, he's in jail, isn't he? Watch. What? Go on. Go get your study done. Huh? Don't be late for class. I'm sure you can't be touching students like this. Like grabbing them stuff. Like, Ew, he's so gross. All right, everybody. Why is it such a small class? That was like a freaking... It looks like a little bit bigger. Well, not a little bit bigger. Not even twice the like not even twice my bedroom, and, and that's a classroom. You're gonna be coming around to collect your papers. Sorry, I'm late. Not Lexi again. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is your cigarettes right there? Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Mason. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. There's meds. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I know I'm late again. You can give me a detention if you have to. Oh, that's very responsible of you. I'm not going to give you detention, okay? Do you have your paper? Oh. There's really meds right there. There was like a vape and a cigarettes. Not. You're not going to fail me, are you? Yes, I will. Like, it's like in a sense she's flirting. You're not going to fail me, are you? Like, she's just, like, he's simping for a child. Assuming she's a child. Like, my dude. I don't know if it's because she's a girl, it's probably because she's a girl and because she's white. That's definitely why. Of course not. Oh, Tell you sakes. what. Why don't you bring it in tomorrow? Okay? And then watch, Robert's not gonna have it. Oh, this can't be happening. What's going on, Robert? Um, excuse me, sir. Can I go to my locker really quick? Why? Because I can't find my paper, and I think I left it in there. You can't find your paper or you didn't do it. I did it, I swear. I just have to check my locker. I'm sure it's in here. You've been running around a lot here lately. And 
you seem to be very much edgy. Oh, so he's on drugs, right? What exactly is in your locker? I told you, I think my paper's in there. Your paper? Or drugs? No, no way! I told you, I don't do drugs! Well, then, you'll be perfectly okay with me checking out hey, your bag, huh? There's nothing in there. What do you got in here? Maybe some amphetamine, cocaine? What? That's so stupid. Maybe some pot pills? That's exactly what Lexi has in her fucking bag. Like, if you weren't so fucking old and stupid, then maybe you would have fucking seen them. Stupid, old-ass, wrinkly, bitch-ass motherfucking t-shirt. Like, you wouldn't mind if I check your bag. Bitch, what are you doing? Like, do you have a warrant to check my bag, bitch? No, and plus you're a teacher. You can't just check, check my bag for no fucking reason. Like, fuck. Maybe some pot, pills. Ah. You got lucky this time, young man. I told you. You wouldn't find anything in there. Hmm. Well... You still don't have your papers, so that means I'm giving you an F. That's stupid. If it's in my locker, let me go fucking get it, bitch. I just forgot to bring it to class, you freaking dumbass. F? I can get an F. I have to get good grades so I can go to college. And again, if it was Lexi, even if it, if it was at home, oh, can I run home to get it? Sure, Lexi, anything for you. <laughs> you, you don't have to worry about that. Your people don't go to college. What do you mean? Excuse me. You know what I mean. No, I don't. You've always hated me and I don't know why. Uh, this is ridiculous. I want you to go to the principal's office right For what? Right now. What? Why? Because you disrupted my class and you failed to do an assignment. But Lexi didn't do her assignment either. Just do what I say. Ouch. Stop grabbing me. Get your thing. Assaulting me, you're looking through my shit without asking, like you're literally harassing me, like bro, you're going to jail. And go! Fuck sakes. Oh, I'll just pose right there. Mr. Mason, I found drugs under Lexi's desk. Those aren't mine. Yes, it is. You can't possibly believe that, right, Mr. Mason? I'm not the kind of person that would do drugs. Of course not. <laughs> They're Roberts. How dare you? But the drugs are under her desk. They have to be hers. Is, would never. is there no names on them? They would have names on them or something. Like, what kind of drugs are they? It's in a pill bottle. They would have names on them. Le Alexia would never do something like this. Do something like this? She was late twice today. And she looks all messy. Stop Fact. it. Stop it right now. You're the one doing drugs. You went through my whole bag. How could they possibly be mine? True. How could I know? I just know that you're the type of person who does drugs. Not Lexi. Why? Because she's a girl? Of course not. Because she's white. Then why? Why do you treat me so differently from all the other students? Because you are different. Now, stop making a scene and go to the principal's office right now. No! Not to tell me why I'm different. Look at you. Look at your skin. <sighs> Could you possibly think that you're the same as Lex? What about my skin? You know what I mean. No, I don't. So please tell me. You're smarter than that, aren't you? Come on, Mr. Mason, just tell me. You don't want me to say it. Yes, I do. Just be straightforward. Robert, trust me. You don't. He, he better be no, he better be recording this for the freaking principal's office and for the freaking court. Mason, just say it. Tell me why you treat me differently than all the other students. Because you're black. You can't push me like black that. Do drugs. And that, my friend, is a fact. Okay, yeah, some black people do drugs, and and what whites don't? <laughs> it's the stupidest thing I've I've ever heard. Yes, black people do drugs. Yeah, guess what? White people do too. Every single color and race does drugs. And? You hear me? It's a fact! Wait, what's going on in here? Oh, there's the mom. Who are you? I'm Robert's mom, and he left this paper. I came to bring it to him. Mm -hmm. oh, isn't that thoughtful of you? Who's such a bitch? He said I was doing drugs, but I swear I wasn't. It's okay, sweetheart. I overheard everything. I'm so sorry I didn't believe you this morning. Oh shit. 
I guess I was wrong about Mr. Mason. Listen, I can explain everything that happened in exactly There's what no you're... need to explain anything. I'm going to the principal and letting him know he's employing racist teachers at his school. Come on, Robert. Robert, sit back down. Don't touch me, bitch. You can't. I can and I will. You should be ashamed of yourself teaching racism to your students and accusing an innocent young boy of doing drugs. Come on, honey, let's go. Like, they better have, like, proof of that. Mr. Mason. Brother, mother, you call. She's like, verifying me. She's telling me that you're accusing me. Her son of doing drugs just because of the color of his skin. It is that true? Obviously, he's going to say no. If there's no proof, like, there has to be some kind of proof, you know what I mean? I mean, there's witnesses, there's students, but are they going to stand up and say shit? Like, like Lexi's a little bitch, it seems like, so... I don't think she's, she's going to say anything. Is that true? Sir, this student seemed like he might be the culprit. Why? Why does he seem like the most likely culprit? Well, he... He's the one who found the drugs. Actually... We just found a student doing the drugs. Lexi. Her name is Lexi, and she's on your class. I told you she was doing drugs. Dumbass. I believe you owe Robert an apology. Yeah, and you're fired, and, and you're going to jail, and you're getting charged. My ass, bitch. Unfortunately, that's not going to be enough. You're fired? You're fired. Damn right. You're firing me? Yes. Are you serious? Yes. No, not I'm not serious. Can't do that. Yeah, I can. Yes, I can. This is my school. You're fired, Mr. Mason. Take your things and go. I mean, that that's a slap on the wrist. He should be going to jail. At the very least, charged. Treat everyone with kindness and respect, no matter the color of their skin. And remember, here at Generation of Hope, we're Generation of Hope, one story at a time. Yeah, this teacher's a dumb little fucking dumbass mother trucker. That, that's all I gotta say about that. He's just an idiot. He's totally a stupid, dumb... Like, people like him, honestly, just deserve, like... I don't want to say it, because it's, it's not good, but... I was trying to see something here. Yep, delete that. Can I kind of, kind of delete these? No. Okay, cool. That's great. Thank you. Anyways, yeah, that's honestly just stupid because honestly, people like people like that are just like my dude. Like I don't even know what to say to that. Like that's just very unrealistic in my opinion because that that just doesn't happen. At least not to that extreme, uh, to that ex point of extremeness. Like that's definitely does that definitely does not happen. And if it did, then I'm pretty sure this student would start our recording. Easily would start recording that. And I definitely would. I'd be like, hey, you know what? Bet. Record. Yo, Mr. Wilson, do you want to say that again? Or Mr. What the fuck that bitch's name again? But, like, yo, Mr. Dumb Teacher, what'd you say? I didn't hear you. Because you're black? Okay, great. Thanks. I got my evidence. I'll see you in court. That's it. But yeah, again, just because someone's a specific color, it doesn't mean they're bad, it doesn't mean they're good, it doesn't mean anything. They're just another human being. Like, anybody could be a good person, anybody could be a bad per person. You can't just assume it's going to be this person, or it's going to be this person, or it's going to be this person. You can't do that. You can't. And if you do, well then you're just stupid. What the fuck is going on with my video? What is happening? Sorry, I'm just trying to fix my video here, I don't know what's going on. Ow. What is going on here? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. And, I'll s and yeah, for me and Darman, I'll see you guys later. Deuces. Peace.